ESPN's Sports First, presented by Budweiser. Thank you. Another week, another Monday, half a day. Welcome to PNC Sports First. Good evening. My name is Blake Watson. Football back in Mingilau Saturday night, and I got to tell you, the crowd, they couldn't have been happier. Father Duenas Friars have been granted permission by the IIAG to use GW's field as their own home venue. And to open the season, they hosted the JFK Islanders. A familiar face met the Friars in former FD quarterback, now current JFK quarterback. Ricky Brown, he transferred to JFK in the offseason. We'll pick things up halfway through the second quarter. After a 55 yard FD pass and touchdown, Islanders offense down seven, looking to even things up, but that won't help. Snap over the head of Ricky Brown. He recovers it, but a loss of yards. Two plays later, JFK running out of the shotgun. Brown, he drops back. The pass is up and oh, picked off by Bryden Cepeda, intended for Tyler Pangolin. No business. Throwing that in double coverage, almost picked off. He got away with it. After JFK punt, Friars take over at midfield. Rookie quarterback Daniel Phillips behind center gets the snap. Quick release to Josh Lujan in the flat. He's off to the races, shakes a tackle. Finally brought down in out of bounds. And then Christian Tovez gets the give up the middle. He wrecks his way through to the one. Next play, Friars knocking on the door. And check this, Friars. Get the snap. It's a handoff straight up the middle. DeAndre Cruz can't handle it. He fumbles the ball in the end zone, but Thomas for Gerger there to jump on it. Touchdown, though not pretty, FD. Ensuing kickoff from the maroon and gold is deep, and it will be handled in the backfield by Mason Manglonia. He cuts to his left. He's got some room, got some blocks, and he's got a seam. Check it out. He, oh, he's on his way, but he trips up, and he finally is brought down under his own power. He would walk off the field after that play with a cramp in his calf. Don't worry, though, he would return. And then this, Marcus Manglonia on the one. Give is to him up the middle. Touchdown, Islanders. That makes it a one possession game. The magic stops there for JFK. Time runs out, and it's the Friars who take the win to start the season 14 to 6. The final. We'll move on to baseball in our stroll through Major League Alley is in order. American League West leaders, the Astros, they're hosting the National League West leading Dodgers. Let's go to the 7 1 3, pick things up. Bottom of the sixth, runners at the corners. Kershaw on the mound. Dodgers up one, and Carlos Gomez is on third. Check this. A.J. Ellis sees Gomez trying to steal home. Kershaw with the throw, and Ellis gets the tag. Take a look at it. Kershaw doing hot yoga or something. Gomez, wait for it, wait for it, takes his move, but he's tagged out. Good heads-up play. A.J. Ellis alive and well on that one. Got his mask kicked off as, a, uh, as gratitude, but he gets him out of the inning. That's the third out, and side retired. Kershaw. Out of the jam, no problem. Bottom of the ninth now. Astros down a run, runner on second. Gonzalez, nice base hit to right. That will score Carlos Correa from third base. And we folks have a tie ball game. To extras we go, bottom 10. And Kinsley Jansen delivers to Jason Castro. High fly, deep ball to left, and it's gone. His 11th of the season. The umps, they would review the hit to make sure there was no fan interference, and it was a home run. The call stands. Everybody's free and clear. The Astros get the walk-off win at home to better themselves in the standings 3-2. to two. And speaking of walk-off, it's about that time of the program for me. Thank you so much for joining us. Until Tuesday, my name is Blake Watson, and I'll see you at the game. PNC Sports First, presented by Budweiser.